Let's take a look at this problem here. We're asked to draw the uh, products, basically, and we're supposed to determine the mechanism if it's SN1 or SN2. So when we look at this alkyl halide, we know this is the leaving group, and we know this is in some way the nucleophile. But remember, with alcohols, you have a deprotonation at the end step to give you the ether here. Now, this is a tertiary alkyl halide, so that means it must be SN1. Also, we know that this is a polar protic solvent, and so that suggests, too, that it's going to be SN2, I mean SN1, okay? Let me work through the uh, curved air reaction mechanism here just to explain some more about this problem. So in the first step, we would have uh, chloride departing. So that's step one. And we have a uh, carbocation intermediate. So here's our carbon with our uh, two methyl groups there. And there's a positive charge. And we have, you know, chloride floating out and around. Next, what we need to do is, uh, in step two, use methanol, CH3 OH as our nucleophile. And I'll put those arrows in green here. So these lone pairs on oxygen attack the electrophile. And this gives you the next intermediate. Okay, so we have a carbon. I'll just draw the C there. And we have our oxygen, right, with only one lone pair now. Now, attached to this oxygen, we have a CH3 and we have a hydrogen, okay? The hydrogen is there because it comes from the methanol. And now there's a deprotonation step. Most people would um, say that methanol, since it's in vast excess, would be the one doing the deprotonating. So I will show the step three here. And this deprotonation step happens with uh, the methanol plucking off this proton here from the molecule. And this gives you the neutral molecule here. Okay, so the first step is elimination. The second step is attack. And the third step is deprotonation. All right, and that's an SM1 mechanism. Now, in part B, we again want to decide what the products are. So here's our uh, leaving group, and here's the alpha carbon. And we want to hook this guy up on that position. And what we'll get is the substituted product. Okay. And we have a thiol functional group there. Now, we want to determine if this is going to be SN1 or SN2. And what you'll notice is that um, the starting molecule is a primary alkyl halide. And primary alkyl halides only react through SN2 reaction mechanisms. I will show the curved arrow reaction mechanisms for this. Oh, and by the way, we have a strong nucleophile. So that also suggests that uh, the reaction is SN2. Okay, but first look at the alkyl halide structure. So the curved air reaction mechanism is one step. You just uh, attack and kick off the leaving group. And we can do this for primary alkyl halides because uh, there's not that much um, sterics. So I call this step, you know, A for attack. All right. For part C, we have a uh, molecule here that has an iodine. So iodine is the best leaving group. Um, so it undergoes substitution reactions readily. And uh, so there's our alpha carbon, and we want to uh, replace it with this whole group here. So the oxygen becomes bonded to that alpha carbon. So let's draw the product here. Okay, so here's the oxygen, and that oxygen is bonded to a CH2-CH3 group. Okay. 
and we have you know iodide floating around we don't need to really worry about these inorganic materials now does this reaction occur by sn1 or sn2 well this alkyl halide you can see the alpha carbon is connected to two carbons so we say that it's secondary and remember if you're just given a secondary alkyl halide it could be sn1 or sn2 other factors will determine if the reaction goes by one or the other so we have to look at the nucleophile this is a strong nucleophile we know that because we have a negative charge on the oxygen okay so that means it's going to favor sn2 and so we would say this reaction occurs by sn2 reaction mechanism um, i'll go ahead <clears throat> and draw the curved arrow reaction mechanism the uh, oxygen is nucleophilic is going to in one step smack into this substrate from the back side kicking off the iodide so that's how you would draw the curved air reaction mechanism for that for molecule d we've got again a you know semi good leaving group bromide attached to this alpha carbon and that alpha carbon is now going to hook up to this okay to the oxygen atom and we remove the hydrogen and we draw this molecule as the product okay don't forget to deprotonate and remove that hydrogen now before we draw the mechanism it's absolutely critical to figure out if this is sn1 or sn2 so let's analyze these this carbon is connected to two carbons so we say that this is a secondary alkyl halide secondary alkyl halides can react by sn1 or sn2 so we need to look at other information to figure out which one is operating. Now, this is a poor nucleophile because it's neutral. And it also acts as a solvent <clears throat> if it's in very large excess. So this is polar protic. And uh, sometimes we call these reactions savolysis because the solvent is actually reacting and doing the work. So if it's a neutral nucleophile it's poor and that supports sn1 so we can rule out sn2 as being the reaction mechanism so i'm going to go ahead and draw an sn1 reaction let me just highlight over here this is an sn1 mechanism okay the problem doesn't require us to draw the mechanism but i would like to show you how that might occur and where that hydrogen goes why it disappears so here uh, the carbon bromine bond is going to break and in step one, you form that famous carbocation. Now, I like to draw the carbon out. And remember that there's a hydrogen there giving that carbon four bonds in the starting material. And over here, you're going to have only three bonds to that carbon. So it's a positive charge or a carbocation. Now, in step two, what occurs is a methyl alcohol or methanol is going to attack and this lone pair on oxygen is going to engage the um, electrophile. And this is the bond forming step that gives you um, the oxygen attached to your substrate. Now, when you look at this reaction, remember again that um, this hydrogen goes along for the ride and so we have to keep it there, okay? We, I know it's going to go away, but don't remove it in this step. Remove it in the last step, which is a deprotonation step. So uh, we have methanol in solution. This is most likely going to be the substance doing the deprotonating because it's a stronger base than bromide, and bromide is only very trace amounts probably. So take the uh, lone pair on the oxygen and do your deprotonation. Point it right to the hydrogen and take this bond and the electrons go to this oxygen, okay? And that gives you, uh, in step three, the final product. So let's label these uh, steps here. Step one, we call that um, elimination, okay? The bromine departs. In step two, we have nucleophilic attack. And step three, we have uh, deprotonation, okay? So when alkyl halides react with alcohols, it goes through a three-step mechanism. 
Okay. So uh, I hope this video helped you understand these better, and uh, thanks for watching.